Mighty day. Holy smokes. How you doing? You still got some... For the past two weeks, most visitors to Camp Higher Ground have used a GPS to help them find it. That's how most of us use this new technology. But not so for Bob Mangin and his sports medical research team. And you like the GPS unit on, on the side. Yes. this side, taped like right down in here? Nope, no, 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 no not there, the, right there. Right there, yes, yeah, got it, shoulder, all right. And you wear a shoulder strap, right? Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. This year for the first time at UC, GPS devices are being attached to athletes to help gather information on metabolics, a project they're working on with the Air Force. They actually got us involved because they wanted to look at loads of work between what their guys do and what a football player does. So we got very interested and collaborated on that, uh, like I said, four years ago, and we're still collecting the data, and, and every year we add a new, a new little niche to it. The added element this year is tracking the distance and speed the athletes cover during practice or a game. And when a couple of the wide receivers and defensive backs found out they covered over seven miles in a practice, they were surprised. When he told me seven miles, he was, uh, he was a little surprised, but he told me uh, it looks like I'm in shape because uh, it really helps to tell you on how, how, how long you're running in the miles and, and your heart rate. He could just, and Bob's pretty good with that. So. It's crazy because while you're practicing with all the things you have to remember, such as plays and the, the, everything that's going on, you never think about how much you actually ran. You just think you ran a lot or so little, but you, with these GPS, it's really tell you exactly how much you ran. For the past four years, Man Gene and his team have been monitoring the player's heart rate, breathing rate, pulse, and other vital statistics through a puck that they wear attached to them during practice. Recently, blood has also been drawn from the players. Now throw in the GPS. It's all part of studying the athlete's ability to see how far they were pushed and how quickly their bodies can recover. If you have 15 wide receivers, you've got 15 different physiological bodies out there working out. One guy, like, you know, Nate went like 7.4 miles the other day, and he felt really good. He didn't really have any issues with it. So that, you know, the distance versus the, the physiological load, as we call it, uh, really is a interdependent uh, aspect of each kid. What we kicked in this year is we started looking at their blood level contents and what Joe Clark and I and, and Divine and Colosimo, we call those biomarkers. The women's soccer team is participating in the same program. The overall goal down the road is for the training staff to be able to sit down with the data and tell the coaching staff which players are 100% ready for a game or a practice. This helps get the most out of the player and prevents them from being pushed beyond their limits. It helps win games, but most importantly, it prevents putting an athlete in a situation where his limits are pushed too far, resulting in possible injury. Every little step you take, the whole idea is to make sports safer. And then, you know, our job really, you know, at the university is an educational institution. Take what we're learning and take it down to the young kids so we can make sports overall safer. That's the whole idea. It's not